Hello, Zero K fan. Well, this is Shadow Fury TT3 with another exhibition match stream. And first up, tonight we're going to have a match on Finn's Revenge, a map which I have not shown in a while. So I'm not sure how familiar it will be to people. Anyone who's played Supreme Commander will definitely recognize this map, but obviously Zero K is a different game, so it plays a bit differently. But otherwise, but, I mean, the basic layout's the same. You have start locations at the southwest and northeast, this one major island in the center. With a couple islands to the southeast, sorry, northwest and southeast, which are not the most useful. I mean, you need to build up your factory for them. You need to get amphibs, you need to get hovers, you need to get gunships. You can't easily just go for them. You have to have some preparation for them. However, because it's a water map, you usually see hovercraft and amphib. Occasionally, you do see light vehicle slasher pushes, but that might be an ancient thing because this map isn't played very often. So I'm not entirely sure how the players are going to handle it, given that I don't know how much they practice on this map. Because it's not a very popular map, partly due to the fact that everything's in this one small area with two easy choke points, and otherwise you have to entirely rely on hovers or amps or C. And partly because it's kind of flat. Ah. Even the camera doesn't want to show me the map, it's so bored of it. But let's watch it anyway, because maybe something interesting can happen. I mean, I've seen a lot of interesting games in this map. I personally had no problem with this map, but it's not the most popular map. Anyway, without further ado, let us begin. So, never starting out the Amphib Factory. Very quickly getting a few ducks, which is perfectly normal. Only getting one duck so far. We'll see if they're going... I think they're going Infinite Build. No, they're not. Well, they aren't going for Infinite Build. They're going for a couple ducks into a conch, which is pretty normal. Icons as well going for Amphib. Not really a surprise. Amphibious bots have been so popular recently... I would have been surprised to see Hovercraft. Despite the fact that this map used to be basically Hovercraft Central, I would have been surprised just because no one goes Hovercraft anymore. I'm actually a little surprised no one's gone Light Vehicles, but yeah, Amphib is totally normal. Because Hovercraft, like, Daggers got nerfed, and then since then, people haven't really used them much. Yeah, apparently the old Golda Dagger tricks, well, Golda just being Daggers Incarnate, was... Partly Golda, and partly Daggers just being really good and no one realizing it. Except Golda. Once other people realized it, then it became nerfed. So yeah, Icons being much more aggressive. Never, on the other hand, is... Well, looks like they're trying to take territory, not be too concerned about attacking. Icons with a nice assault force coming down the south while building up their main economy. They are actually slightly ahead in terms of metal. Four metal ahead, that's not bad. Though Never will be catching up fairly quick. Never... I think they're getting a little stalled there. Yeah, they're getting quite stalled, in fact. I mean, it looks like Icons never bothered to build a conch. They just went straight for the ducks, which has apparently worked out for them. Their commander is doing just fine. They have enough room to build everything up, while Icons pointing out to never make energy. Seems like Icons and never have been playing, or Icons has been playing against a few people and pointing out making energy because. I remember Saturday, that was that was coming up too. Yeah, MIG Energy, really bloody important, but Never doesn't need to worry about that. Never's actually got a bigger concern of metal. Right now, Never's energy is slightly above their metal. They should build more energy, of course, that's always a good thing. But yeah, they need more metal. I think it just they didn't have enough resources to begin with to really pull it out. I think if they'd reclaimed a little bit, there's not much metal reclaim on this map. There's a fair amount of energy reclaim. That would have helped a bit. But yeah, this just didn't have enough metal. Where Icons, on the other hand, they have their entire base, they have all their metal, everything set up, and now moving into the attack, and Icons. Well, I kind of wish I'd seen that because Ducks are always the funniest things to watch. But we have a scalp on the way, so the scalp's gonna stop all that. So Icons will be trying to just juke around. Probably go around in the south. Looks like they are heading around south, trying to find any weak points, see if they can get anywhere from there. And Never, right now, does have radar coverage, but not sonar coverage. So these ducks are basically invisible. Icons, on the other hand, has no radar. What they have, however, is a... Oh, I had a name for a group of ducks. Can't remember what it was, though. But they have a large group of ducks anyway. Actually, I don't think I did. Yeah, it was gnats. An annoyance of gnats. That's what it was. But we're not dealing with gnats, we're dealing with ducks. Ducks have nothing to do with... Well, ducks are more scary than they are annoying. Scary to each other. That's why I wanted to watch that fight, because ducks have this amusing tendency to kill each other in a fight. But no, they didn't come up. Anyway, Never is... Well, they're continuing along. They... They're setting up the type counters pretty well. The only problem, of course, being the scallop speed and Icons coming around the back where, well, Never hasn't got a whole lot set up. Their commander is... Non, it's unmorphed. Unmorphed Recon Com, which probably doesn't help their initial economy problems that they had. 
just because, I mean, the, the economy commander, or the support commander rather, the support commander's build range being so large means that the, the way these are spread out, it hardly affects them, whereas the recon comm has to jump between them, needs a worker, and then that means it's more metal being spent where it can't be, being spread out too much. Speaking of metal, never losing a metal extractor first and trying to, well, trying to be defensive, that's all they can really do. Also pulling out to expand, and icons, I don't know if they're aware of this. I don't think they are, but they will check, I'm sure. Because why wouldn't you? I mean, your opponent is going to be expanding to one of the islands at some point. Icons has not, however. Icons is in fact focusing entirely on the mainland. They seem quite confident they can keep it. And I must say their confidence is fairly well placed. I was about to say they need to get a boy, and they are indeed getting a boy. They actually they have more than one. This would appear to be their first boy. And that's exactly what they need. Those scallops. The boys beat them. But yes, it looks like Icons actually is not taking the guess on this southeast island. They are, however, going to be setting up shop on the northeast island with... Yeah, this particular conch. Oh wait, no, never mind, that's Never. My mistake. Never's the one setting up shop in the northwest island. And the southeast island pretty much belongs to them, at least softly. They'll need to defend that a bit. However, their main base is a big concern, and I think Icons probably... I mean, they might get suspicious once they realize Never's not running out of resources, despite the fact that their main base does not seem developed. Their half of the island is basically just three metal extractors, and that's it. Never was is probably starting to court suspicion here. I don't know if Icons is going to become wise to this before it matters, because at this point, Icons has so much force. So many ducks come in here, they can just tear everything apart. They don't need to worry about that. They have ducks in the front, ducks in the back. The scallops might not even be a concern. There's so many ducks coming in. Oh, okay, never mind. No, I take that back. I take that back. I'm wrong. The scallops must be respected. Always respect the scallop. Even when you have all the ducks in the world, scallops are terrifying. However, having all the ducks in the world allows Icons to do quite a lot of damage here. Good. Got rid of the caretaker. That's the key thing. As long as they get rid of the caretaker, getting rid of the factory wouldn't have been terribly worth it just for the amount of damage they would have had to deal. But the caretaker, definitely worth it. So at this point, Never is starting to excess. They have nothing to spend it on. Their commander has... Well, the commander's gone AWOL. Oh, never mind. The commander's in the middle of this pack of power buildings. Well, they made energy. At this point, they just need production. That caretaker's not going to be up in any decent amount of time. They're going to be accessing a fair amount. Icons commander not helping out with that either. Or sorry, Never's commander not Well, Icons commander obviously not helping out with that, being that Icons is currently fighting Never. I mean, you know, it would be rather sporting, but I don't think Icons is going to go for that. Never's commander, however, is much more interested in making sure that they do have production and they aren't accessing, and... Well, okay, they are building, at least, so that is something. And now the caretaker's done, so at least they're not... They didn't access too much. But still, yeah, that was kind of iffy. Never looks ready for the counterattack, and Icons is definitely ready to accept that. Now, Never, on the other hand... Now they're being challenged. The Northwest split between Icons and Never. Southeast, however, Icons just going towards that never has set up a decent defense. Not much, though. Only a couple of lotuses. No power plants or anything. They have not decided to fortify this at all, except for the two lotuses. And trust me, that's not enough. That really isn't enough with all the ducks floating around. Icons can send in just a small contingent of ducks or scallops and boys. That'll be gone in like 10 seconds. It'll be gone. Much like this army right here in the Isthmus being forced to retreat, never not really having any room out of here. Honestly, Never at this point should probably consider a factory switch because they don't... Like, at this point, Icons has the counters they need. They have the ducks raiding around. The scallops are not really in position to deal with them. Never hasn't really been keeping the scallops in good positions to deal with the ducks as they've been coming in. The boys, of course, counter the scallops, so ducks help with that, but there are scallops. So Icons really has the type counters all laid out. They basically have everything they need. And... They're not even moving on. Now, never moving on to Grizzlies, trying to just overpower with pure firepower. I actually could see that. As long as the scallops take care of the ducks, I think that would actually work. The only thing is, I still think, like, gunships, I think, like, rapiers from this point would actually be the way to go. Not much that Icons has... The scallops would help a little bit, but their attack range is quite low. This is the sea attack range, I believe. So, their ground attack range is fairly low. So, I don't see them being especially useful against rapiers. They'll be an annoyance... But they're not going to be especially useful. However, the boys would miss completely. And would be slowed down as well by the rapier missiles. So I could see rapiers being quite useful in this case. And yeah, at this point, all the ducks gone. So the boys forced retreat. Actually, unable to retreat, thanks to the boys. Slow effect, so those scallops. I did say boys. I meant scallops. 
The scallops forced to retreat, the boys take them out, and at this point, Never lo has lost the northwest. Still not fortifying the southeast, they don't seem to have to at this point, the conch got killed, but even then, I still recommend they do. Because these forces, these boys here, they could go over to the southeast and wreck up the place, and Icons doesn't have to worry about that. What do they have to worry about? Never's the scallops are out of position. These ducks, they're just having a field day every single time they come in here. Never's not been able to expand at all. Icons has pretty much the entire side of their, their entire side of the island. They have 44 metal, an extra 8 cow just coming from this one northwest island. And Never, well, 4 on the island, er, on the main island, and 2 on the side. Not really doing them all that much good. It's helping them a bit, but it's... And the reclaim, of course, can be helpful as well. But even then, Never is just way behind economically. And they haven't this entire time. Icons, they're accessing, yes. But even then, they still have four caretakers on top. There's a three caretakers in a factory and the commander. So essentially four. 50 metal going into this factory. Yeah, Icons could destroy the Southeast expansion and not break a sweat. But this Grizzly, the one thing it does have going for it is the fact that Icons is going for slightly heavier units. It may have a chance. Well, one-shotting boys, that I would say is a chance. Of course, the problem being, of course, the ducks, which are not being built very much. Icons focusing entirely on the scallops and boys, so never may have a way of breaking out of this, but it's essentially a one-shot counterattack, and Icons already prepared, already has their own grizzly. Battle of the epic units. Battle of the endgame amphib bot units. And not much else. I mean, at this point, the amphib factory, what do they have? Like, they have... Everything we've seen just now, and anglers. I mean, ducks would help quite a lot against the grizzlies, but the scallop support is being a bit of a pain. Not to mention the grizzly here, just tearing apart Never's grizzly. That will not last long. Never's second grizzly. Okay, Never going for the right option, going for the ducks. That's exactly what they need to do. Realizing exactly what I have, which is ducks beat grizzlies, or at least really help when dealing with grizzlies. They don't outright beat them because they do get one shot. But at least if they're a distraction for the Grizzly, that will allow Never's Grizzly to get some pot shots in. And if they're not, well, they're light units that are quite cheap and the Grizzly's rate of fire is so low. Like, Never can produce three ducks in the amount of time it takes for that Grizzly to kill one. Okay, so Icons donation! Icons kindly donating this Grizzly's medal to Never, and that's what? 2,000 medals, so 400? No, 800 total, right, 40%, not 20%. 800 medals donated kindly from Icons and Never, so Icons is in fact kind of sporting. Doesn't have their commander move over to help out, but you know, still throws in a bed of metal here and there. It's like, you know what, Never, I'm not gonna just let you lose. I'll I'll give you a fighting chance. Here, have a Grizzly's medal. I have 800 medal on me. And at this point, Never's not actually taking advantage of that particular opportunity, despite how lucrative it may be. Seriously, that is like, you gotta go there. You gotta get that. Not to mention this caretaker. Why is this caretaker not doing anything? Oh, it's trying to repair the grizzly and it's out of range. Good plan. However, bearing in mind that this is out of range. Like, just look at this here. Accessing and yet not assisting the factory. Repairing is not a bad idea, but still, there's, like, put a couple on repair and a couple on on assist. Like, as long as two are on assist, that's going to be fine. Never, on the other hand, they have everything they need on assist. Getting more and more grizzlies. How many grizzlies do they even have? They have... They have two. Never has one. And an army of ducks. Against an army of scallops and a grizzly. And some boys, just for good measure. And here we go. There's the small contingent I mentioned going over to take care of the Southeast Island without breaking a sweat. Although, admittedly, the, the presence of the Solar Collectors will be a bit of a problem. Not much. Just, just a small one. Really, that's... That'll be fine. That should tear that apart. So Icons basically going for the kill. Never, on the other hand, is going to be desperately fighting back. I mean, they have the ducks, they have the grizzlies. The ducks, as you can see, scallops take care of them. The boys take care of any scallops or heavy units. The ducks, they might be able to help get rid of the grizzly, but I think that's, this is going to be it with the boys' slow effect. And that grizzly's reload speed's already just next to nothing. However, the scallops are gone. That's actually a big deal. The scallops are gone, and over to the southeast, never is... Well, they're losing that, as I mentioned. Just wanted to confirm. But yeah, Icons, at least they are able to build scallops and... Oh, okay, scallops are a bad idea. Ducks are a good idea to get rid of the boys and get rid of the grizzlies. Scallops, however, there are no ducks coming in. That's a bit of a bad read. Icons is not building ducks. They're building scallops and boys. The ducks work well against the grizzlies, and... Oh, there goes Never's grizzly. 
The Scallops work well against the Grizz... Sorry, the Ducks work well against Grizzlies and moderately well against boys. Scallops die to boys, so that's just suicide. Never is really not going for the right type counters. They're actually... They're playing into Iken's hand right now, and they've also lost the Southeast base, which is a huge blow, as that was about a third of their economy right there. At this point, Never is basically dead. I... I mean, I don't want to totally write them off because they do have, like, 25 metal, which isn't bad. They need to be extremely cost-effective about what they do and go for some good raids. Like I said, this is where rapiers would be really handy. It's just the factory switch would be extremely expensive. That would be about... Just to get the first rapier up would take about 40 seconds. And with the grizzly bearing down on them, even with the 800 metal to come in... Actually, okay, with the 800 metal, that will actually be really useful. In fact, this... This caretaker should be reclaiming. This one should be reclaiming. This one, I think, is out of range, but if not, it should also be reclaiming. The other three can be used for the factory, but we don't need all five. And a conch. Which is 7.5 metal per second. It's three quarters of our caretaker. These two could be rec Actually, these two could be reclaiming. This grizzly, right now. They should be reclaiming that. And then the rest of them can build in the factory. There's enough power. There's enough build power, like enough energy and enough build power. That will work. This reclaim, by the way, is complete waste. Yeah, if Never does that, they'll actually be able to be on par economically for some time. And they are reclaiming. That's good. That's good to see. That'll at least get them close to economic parity. Their military, however, is doing terribly right now. How many Grizzlies? Two Grizzlies? Okay. But on top of that, we also have 17 scallops and 18 boys. Half of which are inside of Iken's base. This is just half of Iken's army. It's a pretty big half, mind you, but still, it's only half of the army in question. That's terrifying for Never. I think this is going to be it. Never's got, what, four ducks and two boys? Yeah, Never's dead. This is a game. Even with the reclaim, Never is just not producing... Just, sorry, Never just didn't have enough... They'd have to have an advantage economically to be able to outproduce. They're on par produced units that get countered by their opponent's army in decently large numbers. And even the boys aren't getting their range advantage, especially with the slow damage, and this is it. Never's out. Never's done. That's game. Admittedly, it was a game on Finn's Revenge, which, well, we kind of saw how that plays out, especially with Amphib being the water map. Amphib being the water map is an interesting change. But yeah, Jin is the only thing that wasn't really used that much. And Archer. No one really uses Archers anymore, and no one ever really used Jin. Teleport units. Kind of neat idea, but... On a map like this, why would you? It's small enough. Anyway, that was that game. A little bit of an awkward... But I don't know people take a little while to trickle in. So I wait until after people have started to trickle in a bit before I get to the real meat and potatoes games, or at least the ones that are bigger. So, the next match, which is going to be slightly more typical, is going to be Rymark versus Never. We're going to see Never once again and see if they have improved because that match happened a week ago and this upcoming match happened a couple days ago let's see if they've learned anything in that intervening period that in just a minute or two so stay tuned